brother named AJ <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I look like. You look like. like AJ and your dad like if their faces were smushed together. <laughs> <laughs> and do me. Mmm, that looks so good. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wonder what I'm going to look like when I grow up. Um, I might look like my dad. I might look like my mom. I wonder. I think I've inherited my mom's nose, maybe? And um, maybe my dad's eyes and his face shape. Um, I don't know. Cause as a baby, I just think... I just don't know what I'm going to look like when I get older. So hopefully I inherit my dad's height and I inherit my dad's um, teeth. <laughs> I have baby teeth right now, but I would like to inherit those type of traits because they're passed along um, between mother and father. I just this is what I would look like as a guy. And I would have to say that I look like a mix of my dad and my uncle. So like the rounded face would be like my uncle's and everything else would look like my dad. Well, this filter's kind of weird, um, but did you know that a gamete is just a fancy name for um, sex cells? So like your egg and your sperm. You have to have one of each in sexual reproduction and that's really all that means. So you have your man cell or your sperm, and then you have your little lady cell or your egg, and then those two get together and they create the little baby like me. You want to know how I remember meiosis? It's because me was made through meiosis, just like you. You and me have two parents through sexual reproduction, therefore our cells have all undergone meiosis. So now that we're like a couple weeks deep into this, you guys are probably like, how am I ever going to remember mitosis and meiosis because I'm a grown up and I still have trouble with it. Hey, so you see the T in mitosis? Well, it helps us remember that it's going to make two exact copies. So they're identical. It's a different form of gene. So, if you remember, genes are, they give you your traits, they come in the chromosomes, you get half from your mom, half from your dad, so that you are genetically different, and that makes you awesome. So, an allele, the gene for your height, if you're gonna be tall, if you're gonna be short, and different things like that. So, you have different alleles on each of your chromosomes that determines those things. Why was the biology teacher so popular at school? He was a fun guy. <laughs> Why did the biologist get booed off the stage during American Idol? I don't know. Hmm. Why? <laughs> he was caught with something. Oh my God. <laughs> What kind of pants do biologists wear? 
designer jeans. <laughs> Science Crew. Science Rule.